if you were a Mustang fan and you've been waiting for Mustang content to come back to this channel, uh, now is the time to start paying attention. Man, it's been about a month. It's been 22 days since our last video and uh, we're back in the garage. Really, I mean, if you pay attention to uh, my social media, then you've been seeing a lot of things happening uh, in the background over the past uh, really three weeks. So we have the Camaro ZL1 finally back home in the garage, except it's going away. Unfortunately, today we are going to be saying goodbye to this car. So let's um, let's paint the, the canvas a little bit. You know, we, we bought this as a 2018 Camaro. I've had it for a few months and put a couple of thousand miles on it. Currently, it is just beneath 13,000 miles. It had a build date of August uh, 2017. And uh, we had the notorious 17 and 18 model year oil pump failure. Well, that yeah, that's gonna be a conversation we're gonna have to have is, is, is it gonna need a motor or? Why does this happen to me? No, this is a, it's, it's, it's a GM problem for this model year. And uh, it was, it sucked, you know, but at least we still f fell under that five year 60. Um, so warranty was able to, you know, cover everything. Now things took longer than expected. And uh, honestly, I, it gave me a chance to take a hard look at where I wanted to go uh, from here. And uh, you know, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a Mustang channel. Um, I made a lot of Mustang content because I had one. I've had several, and uh, now we're gonna go back to one. And uh, the, the reason why is, and I'll explain a little bit more in just a second, we're gonna hop in the car. I gotta get some things, some parts off of this because we can't trade it in with aftermarket parts. Uh, those have already been sold, some of the things on here. So we want the car to be as stock as possible going to the dealership. We're on a time crunch, so we gotta make a lot of things happen today. And uh, you know, we gotta get down there and we gotta buy a new car. But I wanna say very quickly, uh, what is coming is uh, we're coming back home. I tend to favor Mustang because it's what I know and trust. And uh, I didn't want, when I got out of the last one, I didn't want to go back into another S550 because I've already played that game so many times before. And I thought to myself, unless I'm buying a GT500 or, you know, something different, something special, how can we make future content without repeating every bit of content we've already made? How do we tell a different story with the same old Mustang GT car. Well, we're not buying another Mustang GT. So get ready. Uh, we're not buying another Mustang GT, something special this time, something expensive. And uh, you're not going to see it in this video. You're gonna have to watch the next one. So I'm gonna make you wait, unfortunately, but uh, it's gonna be worth the wait, trust me. So all of you guys, get ready. If you're Mustang lovers, you know, the, the stuff that we do, it's coming back and it's coming back hard. It's coming back different and it's gonna be uh, special this time. And we're gonna completely build this car completely different than we had before. It's gonna be, it's gonna be tasteful. And I think that you're all going to really appreciate it. And uh, I'm very excited. So what's been happening over the past couple of days? Hopefully you're sticking with me because I'm giving you tons of clues for what's coming. I can't spin the camera this way because there's a ton of parts over the past couple of days, or I'm sorry, the past couple of weeks, we've been ordering tons and tons and tons of stuff. And there's a ton of parts here already in the garage ready to go on to this next car, which we're gonna be picking up today. I'm so very excited. So um, I gotta speed this up because we gotta be at the dealership. It's gonna be different. It's gonna be different than things that you've already seen or will see elsewhere. Um, it's it's gonna be very special. And I think that again, you're going to all appreciate it very much. And I think you're all going to love it and be on board. So um, basically what I'm telling you guys is we're coming home. For me, it's, it's I appreciate and I love the car. I honestly have nothing bad to say about it. At the end of all of this, it just comes down to a trust issue. Yeah, we fixed the oil pump problem. You know, there was, everything was fine. There's no metal in the wheel. We got lucky, you know, we didn't lose the engine. And unfortunately, within like a month of ownership, bad things happen. So the car, this car is gonna go away and we're bringing another Ford Mustang of some variant on to this channel. It's gonna be, again, tasteful and special, but I digress, guys. I've gotta to get to work and I've gotta pull some parts off of this. And we'll talk a little bit more, I guess, uh, throughout this video on my way up to the dealership to go pick up the new one. But if you were a Mustang fan and you've been waiting for Mustang content to come back to this channel, 
uh, now is the time to start paying attention. And uh, it's a super special deal and a super special car. And I'm so, so anxious and excited to be able to show it to you. But all right, I'm gonna pause for now. Let me get to work, pull some parts off, and catch you back in the car on our way to the Ford dealership. And we're gonna pick up something special. Let's go. I know I spent so much time talking. It was just talking it, but I, I don't. For those that uh, you know did follow me, the few that followed me for the Camaro stuff, I mean, I appreciate the car. I love the car. No disrespect whatsoever. I'm not gonna badmouth this car. I love this thing to pieces. I really do. And. I, it's just a trust issue at the end of the day for me. Yes, it's fixed. It's completely fixed. It is good to go. But a carbon fiber steering wheel off of this car. I've got to get this uh, tail lights we just put in right before. Uh, you know, we had the oil pump failure, so that's got to come off and this intake and then another engine thing. And, and then we're off to the dealership. And then unfortunately, bye bye the old one. I love you. I like you, but you got to go. All right. We are all the way back to stock. We've got everything that I need. Busting my butt over the last hour. <sighs> took forever. All right, so we got a car. We got a car to go buy. All right. Back to stock exhaust, stock intake. And I'm burning up. It is hot. All right. Let's let's discuss. I think we already covered pretty much the gist of it in the beginning half of this video that we're moving back to Ford and I'm excited about it. You know, I think that uh, the audience out there, every one of you will be as well, especially especially for what we have coming. Pretty crazy, pretty epic and uh, pretty fancy. So definitely encourage you subscribe if you're a Mustang guy, subscribe and you have to turn that bell notification on to where you receive like all upcoming videos. Otherwise you're gonna miss them because I really don't want you to miss the next one, the reveal. Like I said, this is not it. This is a bye-bye farewell to our Camaro ZL1. And I love this car. So I wanna spend just a minute or two talking about my experience uh, with this car because I mean, it's, to me, it's a, it's, a, it's a work of art. It's a masterpiece. I love this car. I love the Alpha chassis platform. I love everything about what GM has done to this. There's a couple of things that, uh, you know, I really don't like. And, you know, most of you guys out there in the audience will probably connect with me on uh, the same level. So I don't need to talk about, you know, the obvious. You know, the high door sills, this, that, and the other. Now, like, guys, look, I'm 5'11". I can see out of this car just fine. Can I see out of a Mustang easier? Yes, of course. But... I don't think that this is really a hindrance to me. Um, what I get from a Camaro, a 16 Camaro, is a lot of artwork, a lot of curves, a lot of design. And I think that that's what the design team initially was after too, was something a little bit different than uh, your run of the mill, or not, I hate to use that word, but being different than your safe design. And Ford is typical of that. They like to stay safe because, well, unfortunately it does attract a lot of buyers and you know these statistics back that up you know so sometimes when you take a giant leap in a direction of styling it doesn't hit home with everybody with me this does i really really enjoy the car i like the performance i like the handling i like the noises that it makes i love everything about it but the sad truth is the zl1 camaro 6 gen is more expensive to mod later on and it's not that drastic honestly but hear me out if i want 700 800 horsepower the easiest way to do that is to swap the blower but the thing is this car is already supercharged so i gotta pull the supercharger off sell it or port it or something like that really only porting only gets you so far so really what you got to do is you got to pull the supercharger off and replace the blower so you're buying a supercharger for your supercharged car and uh that to me was kind of like the same can be said about a 2020 shelby gt500 you know it comes factory supercharged and uh there is aftermarket blowers that make more power you know easier and they're you know more efficient and everything so that is true but when you do that with like let's say shelby 500 a 2020 and up model you're gaining a lot of power if i wanted a 700 horsepower car with this uh you got to do quite a lot so it's it's actually even more than that and if you want to run 
ethanol in one of these cars, it's harder to do so than a Mustang because there is no port injected. There's no port injection on the sixth generation Camaro. That is a huge fail in my opinion. So direct injection is great, but the Gen 3 Coyote, for example, uh, has direct and port injection. So you could take that car, for example, and we know a tune is the only separation between 93 and E85. Until you go boost, you know, then things change, obviously. You need a fuel system at that point. But all in all, I think it's actually easier and cheaper to play with big power on the Ford Mustang versus the Camaro uh, ZL1 specifically. We'll spend more time other videos maybe talking about the specifics why and uh, in a, a short a shorter time frame I'll try to like really get to the highlights of uh, X video uh, where I can explain you know why I got rid of the ZL1 specifically for what you're going to see in the next video but I think that when you see it, it's going to make a lot of sense to some, but a lot of you might be scratching your head. But I think that we're all going to walk away at the end of the next video, the reveal, very happy. Uh, buckle up, get ready, uh, hold on tight because there's a lot of changing coming very quickly and uh, I don't want you to miss next video. So, all right, I'm almost at the dealership. Time to trade in a Camaro ZL1 and I love, I love this car. I really do. I wanted to do more with it, but I didn't expect to have a major almost catastrophic engine problem within the first couple of months of ownership could i've researched this problem beforehand a little bit more in depth yes but uh unfortunately you know um i'm human and we all make mistakes and i didn't do the hard research before i bought the car i thought it was good to go and uh you know truth be told it's not a total Whoops. so anyway but I'll catch you guys in the next video. My phone's ringing. We got to get to work. All right, see you later. Bye.